Hello, my name is Stuart de Vries and in this tutorial I'll show you uh, some tips how you can influence the way bubbles appears in a document view compared to the simulation view. This is you perform 5.3. Uh, however, the instruction is also applicable to previous versions. The biggest difference is that the menu looks a little bit different and the, the three traps are at the left which is very convenient, but uh, uh, instructions are applicable for all other versions as well. Um, so here you see a simulation with a start situation where they created a specific bubble. Um, I explained this in another video as well, but um, I also have some specific text that I want to be in a specific note, mode. And uh, if you want to influence uh, the way it looks in your uh, document as well, you just right click and select edit node or and that's more applicable in, in the latest version you can also click once and use the properties option so in all of versions it's easier to just right click and select edit node in the edit node I can for example say that I don't do not want this bubble appear at all in the document view and as you can see you also have enable call out in document view which influence how it is displayed um, there are some options like formatting where you can have no pointer um, you have some specific styles that you can predefine in your template and you can select something like the highlight area okay um, so in this situation um, if I go to the document tab, as you can see, uh, the easiest way is right click and edit in document view in the step window. Then it's directly jumping that. As you can see here, um, the screenshot is displayed. And the start situation, the bubble information is just displayed as plain text. And that's also in step two, you see the specific tabs. So if you go to the simulation view again, uh, let's assume in the second step I'll create some annotations in here. And if you want this appear in the simulation, in the, in the document tab as well, um, by default it is displayed in the document view. But let's assume I want to enable the callout in the document view and not the text. So I can just check the second option and click OK. Um, the second one is the action so that's something just uh, that's something you um, cannot change that will be automatically placed in the document view um, so I go back again to the document view and as you can see here you have the annotation displayed in the document itself um, another option that might be very useful is um, if you right click on the step in the document uh, view as you can see here you have an option screen the second one and here you can also uh, select the option that you show the screen in the document or do not display it so if you have problems in your documentation where you do not see some screens so you you do do uh, so some screens are not displayed um, that actually means that this option is set to never for that option or it says only if the first time the screen is used so if you want to have more control you can set it to always and uh, yeah, and, and, and that way you can also influence. I remember that I also posted some topics. So here, for example, you see four and five could be combined. Um, so I can, oh, not this one. I'll have to check the text here. Um, so both are this one. three and four so this one I'm sorry about that so 
So this tab I want to have in the document. And let's assume that the next one I do not want to have in a document. I want to have this one. As you can see, 4 and 5 are now combined. So step 4 indicates with a number here that you have to click here and then you have to click next. Of course, you have to accept that in the previous screen, uh, next is grayed out, but it's displayed actually in the menu. So this is also how you can influence this. And these steps will now belong together. If you want to undo that one, you just go to that specific step and just choose to display it. So here are two options you can play with. Um, either to have bubbles in the uh, simulation and in the documentation and you can influence uh, the way screens looks. Thanks for watching.